you very much. Uh, I want to thank uh, all of our participants and their animals uh, for making it a wonderfully successful Stupid Pet Tricks tonight. Uh, one of the meanest men ever to step into a wrestling ring, it says here, was Walter Killer Kowalski. In the area, area, <laughs> in the era of Gorgeous George, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers, and Yukon Eric, the killer was the most feared and most loathed of all. He is now a professional photographer and runs the runs the Killer Kowalski Institute for Professional Wrestlers. It's right up there with Annapolis and the uh, welcome, please, Killer Kowalski. There, if you will. Yes, sir. Let me, uh, let me ask you something here about this introduction. It says that you were the most feared and most loathed of all. How, how would we prove that if we wanted to? Most loved. Oh, is it supposed to be loved? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That was a, a, a typing error. Oh, a typing error. Oh, so you were the most loved. Well, that's right. yeah, that was... well, that's good. How many years have typing. you been wrestling? Oh, um, years. Quite a few. <laughs> Quite a few, yeah. yes. How does a, a fellow, uh, as a youngster, become a professional wrestler? You know, to break into the, the sport is very, very difficult because most wrestling promoters don't even want to talk to anybody who is aspiring to become a professional wrestler. Why, why don't they want to talk to people? Because they, they never prove themselves. They, and they, they can't afford it. You know, with television, a lot of wrestling is on television, and you're drawing big houses. In fact, professional wrestling is the most watched sport and most attended sport from any other professional sport there is, mm -hmm. because we have wrestled so <clears> often, <throat> so that's yeah. all that accumulated together produced a tremendous well, What would be the attendance. next sport after professional? Well, most of the sports are seasonal. I guess baseball, baseball. probably has the yeah. longest season. Yeah. So how did so you get started then, if uh, nobody was talking was, to you, and then what happened? I went to a professional wrestling school in Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. A young kid working out at the YMCA, wrestling at the YMCA, and a wrestling promoter in Detroit, heard of this big slob, and uh, he talked me to entering the profession. And I said, no, 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 I don't want nothing to do with it. Uh, I said, I don't want to constantly be here. Bell, I still do hear bells, birds singing, and things like that. People you do? <laughs> really? You don't? I hear sirens Doesn't occasionally. Um, and sirens, too. Yeah. So, you know. How did you get the name Killer? I'm guessing your folks didn't give you that name. <laughs> when I started wrestling, I started as the name of Killer Kowalski. I mean, not Tarzan Kowalski. Tarzan Kowalski. And a little incident you happened. Just, you just changed it. A lot of people in show business do that. They'll change their name. Yeah. Had a good ring, Killer Kowalski. Killer Kowalski. Right. Happened a little incident in Montreal, actually, where the way it happened. I was climbing the top rope. I jumped off the top rope. I meant to jump on the guy's head, but he moved. <laughs> and I grazed his cheekbone. I said, I missed him. Mm -hmm. He had a very bad cauliflower ear. Mm -hmm. uh, cauliflower ear is very hard. It's, it's con blood flows to the ear, congealed. But his, his cartilage had broken his ear. And when I, my shin bone touched his cheek, it knocked like you would knock a fly off the table. That's where his ear went, rolling across the ring. <laughs> Beauty, the, yeah, and the referee says, you dirty slob. He says, you're not supposed to jump on him. I said, yeah, well, what the heck. <laughs> he picked up, the, he pushed me across the ring. He starts, you know, this was Yukon Eric. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of publicity on him. He starts screaming, hollering my ear, my ear. I said, what's he hollering? What? I don't know something about an ear. Blood pouring out all over the place. And finally, he just stopped the match. He walked out of the ring, so he mm -hmm. threw a towel in, which was in moments where soaked the blood. He stepped out of the ring, and the referee says, what am I going to do now? He says, he's gone. Give me the yeah. match. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So he raised my arm. I was the winner for that. Yeah. And since then, people thought I was just a, a cruel monster. Mm -hmm. I, had, I sympathized with uh, yeah. poor Yukon Eric yeah. after that, because do you, do you he get, had... Do you, no, get, do you get points for something like that? Yes. <laughs> they gave me 63 points for knocking an ear off that yeah. time. But you know, you find Eric, he had a, a, a bit of a problem after that because when he used to try to go walking downtown, down the street on a windy day, the wind would catch his good ear and spin him around. It'd be very difficult. You know, a lot of well, you got, you know, some of these, these are some of the hazards. Some of these are some of the hazards, you know, of, of different professions, even yeah. football, baseball, basketball, yeah. you know. It could happen. Imagine what happens. I hollered, stop that ball, the big basketball, and he swallows it. And, hey. Probably happens more than you think, huh? Yes, uh, yes certainly does. Now you're, but now, in addition to your uh, wrestling activities, you're a photographer. Yes, that little incident happened one time in Dallas, Texas. They wanted to, I saw the pictures that we're using, they were using for publicity. Oh, here's, actually, this is the gentleman you alluded to earlier. This is Tarzan Kowalski. Yeah, 18 years old. Imagine that. Good heavens. <laughs> How, how, how big a fellow are you in this photo? What, uh... I'm right down about 
245, 250, and I was 18, six foot six. And I gained another inch, grew another inch to six foot seven. I got to be 275 and much ruggeder, much meaner, more cruel than that. Cruel, yeah. Now, you didn't, uh, you didn't actually take that picture. Now, here's a fellow. Uh, who is this? Uh... That's Moose Monroe. Uh -huh. He was the one in uh -huh. this area here. He's a very sedate, mm -hmm. you know, easygoing fellow. Yeah, he eats little children or something like uh -huh. that, and, as well as with his meals. Yeah. He, there's nothing much to him, though. You know, just, no. a, just a cruel, mean-looking guy. Mm -hmm. the, the word nair comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Maybe he eats that, too. <laughs> This is uh, kind of a, a nice outfit. This is yeah, that's Larry Sharp. He was the one in New York area. He, Larry. He, this guy's name is Larry. Yeah, <laughs> that is Larry. Doesn't he look like a Larry? Oh, that's now you you take these and then you sell them to the restaurant. No, no, I, I use them for publicity. I've had my uh, pictures on my pictures on covers of magazines. Mm -hmm. That that is the Moon Dogs. Rex and Fido. Last a little. Rex and who? Fido, the last of the little Rex moon dogs. Rex and Fido, the uh, moon dog. Yeah, they're around here for uh -huh. uh, They're attorneys, I think, aren't they? they? Yes, they are. That's right. They okay, we're going uh, to have to interrupt this. We'll uh, continue. We're going to a commercial. We'll be uh, right back.